Hey guys, my name is Benjamin Anani Asamoa and you are welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a print-on-demand website using WordPress and Printful. So if you are looking to build a t-shirt business online, then stick to the end because I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how to create a print-on-demand website selling t-shirt, hoodies, face masks and many more. You don't need to have a web development skills to do this because I'll show you how to get a domain name and web hosting, install WordPress, install a free theme and plugins, create a free printful account and link it to your website to fulfill your orders. So if you are new here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and press the notification icon to get notified on new videos like this and print on demand related videos. I will also show you an awesome tool I use to create my designs and place them on mockups. Check the link in the description below to register. A print on demand is an order fulfillment method where items are printed as soon as an order is made. It exactly looks like dropshipping where items ordered are shipped directly from the manufacturer to the buyer on behalf of the one selling. All you need is create a store, register with a fulfillment agency like Printful, market it online so anytime a customer makes an order, Printful automatically fulfills the order, ship the item to the customer, then you make your profit just with your print on demand website. So this is how our website is going to look like. We have the logo, then we have the menu items, we have the home, the products or the subcategories, the about page, the contact and, and a link to your account. So we also have an image here with the text and some buttons. We go down, we create a category. So this can be our categories where we have the t-shirt category, hoodies and the face mask. So any button you click takes you to the category page. Then we have the t-shirts items here. We go down, we also have a beautiful image and some text here. We have the hoodie section, then we have the face mask. We also have some text here. So you can edit this text and we have the footer section where it includes some links and the copyrights okay so let's check out the product page first we click on all products so this is how our product page looks like so you can click on it like this so this is how the product page looks like you can click to add to cart you can see we have the products in the cart we go down we have another image and we also have we have the description here and we have the related products here. So a customer can just click on the view cut. So it comes to the cut page. You can click on the proceed to checkout. So this is the checkout page where a customer can fill his or her details in here. Then we have this section where a customer can pay with PayPal credit card directly on your website using Stripe or Rave. So this is mainly for users in Africa. So if you're from Africa, you can use Wave to check your payments in Africa. So we will get more into that later on. Let's go to the about page. So this is the about page where you can describe the, the mission and vision of your company and who you really are. So you can say a lot of stuff about your business. If you want to describe the team, you can just write some text in here. So we go to contact page. The contact page is also a page where you can let your customers contact you. So you can change everything here. So when we go to my account, so this is where your customer's account page will be. So they can check their orders here. So the orders they've made, you can click on view to see the orders they made. So you can also create a tracking page where users can track their order using their order number. So in my previous tutorial, I showed you how to do this. So check the link in the description below to, to find out more. So let's start building our website. Okay guys, so before we can start our website, we need a domain name and web hosting. So a domain name is the name of your business online or the location of your website on the internet. And a web hosting refers to computer servers that stores your website content that runs 24 hours. So without a web hosting, your website will not be accessible to anyone online. Check the link in the description below to get 60% discount for your web hosting. My recommended web hosting provider is Namehero for all your web hosting. 
I strongly recommend Name Hero because they offer high speed and fast web service with quick customer response time. You don't need to worry about your web hosting issues because they have 24 seven customer support. Anything that happens to your web hosting account, they are there to support you. I chose Name Hero over SiteGround because of their prices. They have unbeatable prices for startups. SiteGround is also perfect. I also have a link in the description below for SiteGround, but I chose Name Hero because Name Hero's prices are very good. So let's get started. Click on the Get Started button. Then you scroll down. We have four plans in here. So I recommend we choose the Plus Cloud because we can hold seven websites. The Starter Cloud is for beginners. In case you want only one website, you can start with a starter cloud and i recommend the plus cloud because for e-commerce website you need a lot of functionalities and features so let's go down we have three years here first year second year third year so the more the years the less it becomes i'll click on one year so you have to choose your domain name so you can register your domain name here so you enter the name of your business you click on check to see if you have it available so if you have it available you see congratulations here it is available then you scroll down, then you click continue. So if you have already purchased your domain outside Name Hero, you can also link your name service to Name Hero. So I already have a domain name. So I'll click on use, then move forward. So you scroll down, Name Hero gives you free SSL certificate. So you click on continue, you click on checkout, then fill in all this information here you fill in your name and your address then you fill in your card details or your paypal account you can also buy with bitcoin then after you filled everything so you accept the terms and condition then you click on complete order okay we've successfully purchased our web hosting so you can either give them a rating or you can close and move on so this is your other confirmation you should also get an email to confirm that so i'll click on continue to client area so what i'll do is i'll click on cloud web hosting so if you bought your domain from name hero you should see your domain name here so all your domain names will be listed here okay so for us to install wordpress we click on cloud web hosting you click on plus cloud then it will take you to your domain so you click on login to cpanel so in here we have the web hosting information we have your you have your primary ip you have your server name then your name service so you if you already have a domain name so if you already have a domain name outside name hero you can link the name service with it with the domain name so this process is for only those who have their domain name outside name hero so what i'll do is i'll copy the name service here then manage from name chip what i'll do is i'll come to name service then change the name service so what i need to do is change it here then you click on save let's go back from our client area what we need to do is we click on login to cpanel on our cpanel we will search for wordpress click on wordpress then we click on install now so we need to choose https slash www so you scroll down so in case you get an error saying your security is not available don't worry about that you can still continue you enter your site's name then you enter your site's description Then you enter your username so this is the username you're going to log in to your wordpress backend so change the password then you will change your admin email then you scroll down and click on install so within less than a minute this will be installed so now your website is installed you can check the fonts page here by clicking on so as you can see this is how our website is looking now so let's close it and go back to the 
WordPress dashboard. It opens directly to your dashboard. Anytime you want to come to your, your website login, you, you have to make sure you add the wp-admin to it. That will bring you to your website back end. Then you log in. Okay, from here, we will click on dismiss to dismiss everything here. Go to screen option over here. Then deselect everything. Then click on it again. So we've cleared everything on our dashboard. So I'll hover on settings, then come to permalinks. So we have to make sure our permalink is correctly structured. You need to select the post name here. Make sure your permalink settings is selected to post name. Then you click on save changes. We go to general settings. So this is where you can also edit your website title again. So you can enter your website title, then the tagline, then this you can also change your email. So what you need to do is you have to enable anyone can register. So you click on save changes. Okay guys, so we are done with the general settings. Make sure that you have your HTTPS instead of HTTP. So let's go to the dashboard. Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are going to install our theme. Let's go to our website and look at how our appearance, our website look like. So this is how our website looks like. We have nothing here. The design is not really nice. So we go back to the dashboard and go install a theme, which makes the website a little better than before. Then what I'll do is I'll click on add new. So we set for Astra. Okay, so this is Astra. We click on install, click on activate. Astra has been installed. So what I'll do now is I'll click on view side to see what has changed. So as you can see, our website changed from the old style to the new style, which still doesn't have any important thing here. So we go back to the dashboard. So as you can see, Astra is asking us to install a starter template here. So what I'll do is I'll click on get started. So we want to activate the starter templates. Astra has a lot of templates that can we can install directly into the website without doing so much work. So we're going to activate Astra templates. So we're going to use Elementor for our page builder. So I'll click on Elementor. Okay, so these are some of the already built in themes that Astra provides. So there are so many beautiful themes here. Some of them are free, some are also pro. So the ones you see agency means that they are pro and you need to buy them. So let's go install some plugins. We go to plugins. We have some plugins already here. So this is our starter template we installed. So I'm going to delete these two plugins already here. I'll click on delete and apply. Okay, so I will also close this ones here. So I'll put a link in the description below, which will lead you to download Elementor Page Builder. We have some four plans in here. So we have the free plan, the personal, the plus and the expert. I will recommend you to get one of these plans. If you want to import already built in designs, Elementor has exciting features. So what I'll do is I'll click on get started. So what I'll do is yes, I already do. I'll click on continue. So we will use the alternative download. So we'll click on download it. Then it will download the Elementor page builder for us. So as you can see, we have the Elementor page builder downloading here. Okay guys, so after downloading the Elementor, we close it. Then we go to our plugins and click on add new. We click on upload plugin. Then we select where the Elementor was downloaded. So it's about 5.29 megabytes. We double click to upload. Then we click on install now. Okay, so in case you get an error saying the uploaded file exceeds the upload max file size directive, you go to your client area, click on login to cPanel. So what we need to do is we set for PHP. Then we click on select PHP version. So we go to options here. Then we scroll down to 
upload max file size so what is saying is the only upload file size we can upload is two megabyte change it to let's say 256 megabytes so i can upload 256 megabytes file within one upload let's leave it to 512 512 is okay then we close our c panel then we go back to our plugins again so what we need to do is we click on upload plugin again then we select the file we click on install now our elementor plugin has been installed click on activate plugin elementor has been installed what we need to do is we need to install other plugins too so i'll go back to the plugins page then click on add new here so what i'll do is i'll set for wool enter then we install wool enter so this is a plugin that will also help us in you know, listing our products on the page then so let's set for element kit so this is what i'm looking for element kits by wpnet so i'll click on install now then we look for the last plugin called sticky menu so this is the sticky menu i'm looking for by premo premium i'll click on install now i'll go to installed plugins then install everything together so these are the plugins i've not activated i'll select them then go to bulk action then click on activate then apply now okay so i'll click on skip here so it shows that sticky menu has also been installed then i'll go back to the plugins again to make sure everything is set so we have this two which is not activated yet so we select them so let me activate the wool enter first so what we need to do is we still have our website still looking ugly so what we need to do is we are going to install the astra starter theme in here to replace everything here that will look fine so let's go back to the dashboard so let's check out our pages i'll delete everything here click on apply to delete them then we go to post i'll also delete everything here i'll click on trash to trash it okay so from here we go to appearance then we go to starter templates i'll click on starter template so we're going to install one of the themes in here for our print on demand website so what i'll do is i'll select e-commerce so i'm sorting by free so if you are interested in this one you can click on this so this one looks like what we need that looks perfect but i'll go back and select this so i think i love this one rather so what we need to do is it has three pages so we have the home page the about page which also looks very beautiful then we have the contact page which comes with everything so all we need is to click on import complete site it's going to install everything all the widgets the required plugins and the contents of this starter template so what we need to do is we need to click on import so this is going to import all the required plugins like the woocommerce and the contact plugin so we don't go and install the plugins one by one so i'll click on import then we wait for it to complete okay so our import is successful so let's go and check our website okay guys so our website has been imported successfully and everything is running so as you can see we have everything here okay we need to set up woocommerce so let's go back to our dashboard to set up woocommerce so i'll close here so in case you have any error all you need is to close it and come and import the complete site again okay so let's go back to our plugins and check whether everything is installed so what i need to do is we need to run the woocommerce setup first so let's run the setup so you click on run the setup you click on yes please enter your store address and the country you are located 
then I'll select my country then I'll select my city then I will enter my postcode so I'll click on continue then we we'll click on continue again okay so it's asking which industry your store operates click on fashion then click on continue click on physical product and click on continue so how many product do you plan to display I'll click on 11 to 100 it doesn't really matter currently selling elsewhere no then so suggesting us to install these plugins so i will not do that so you disable them and click on continue you can do that manually later okay so it's asking which theme we want to install woocommerce on i'm going to use the astra click on continue with my active theme you click on no thanks okay so WooCommerce has been set up successfully. So let's go set up our Printful account and link it to our WooCommerce store. I'm going to put a link in the description below to set up your Printful account. Okay, so this is Printful. What we need to do is we need to sign up. So we go to start selling. So my name, then you enter your email. Then you enter your password. You agree to the printful terms and conditions. Then if you want to receive emails, I'll just leave it and click on sign up. So printful is just asking some basic information. So what would you like to do with printful? I'll select start my first e-commerce business. So click on finish. So we've successfully signed up to printful. So we have these steps to follow. So the next thing to do is to check your email and confirm so click on confirm your email you've sent a confirmation to your email click on got it then go and check your email it will take some time for us to receive our printful email so let's wait for it to come whilst we wait for it to come let's go back to our dashboard let's go to plugins and go add printful plugin so we go set for Printful. So this is Printful integration for WooCommerce. So we click on install now, click on activate. So let's go back and check our email to see whether we have the email. So it took about three, five minutes for us to get the Printful email. Check the email and click on confirm address. Okay, so our email has been confirmed successfully. Okay guys, so we are done with the email confirmation. So the next step we need to do is to connect our WooCommerce store to Printful. So what I'll do is I'll skip this step and go to connect your store. Choose your store platform. So I'll click on choose platform. We select WooCommerce as our platform. So I'll click on connect. It shows us how to get connected. We already set our WooCommerce, so I will click on the setup an existing one. It's trying to show us how we can connect Printful to WooCommerce. So I'll go to WooCommerce, go to settings, then we go to advanced. So under advanced, we have legacy API. So we click on legacy API. Then you check enable, then save changes. After the save changes, let's go look for Printful here. Click on Printful. Okay, so now click on Connect. Click on Approve. We need to connect to an existing account. So then I'll sign in my account. So I'll click on Connect Store. So Printful is syncing our WooCommerce Store settings to our website. So it will finish within a few seconds. Okay, so now our WooCommerce store has been linked to Printful successfully. So everything we do here will be synced. So these are some of the products that are in already in our store. So what we need to do is let's go back to our products. So we are going to delete everything we have in our products. So all these are demo contents. Let's go delete them. You don't need it. We're going to create our own. Okay, so I've deleted everything in our product. So let's go back and add our product from Printful. 
So I'm going to click on the add product. Then, so we're going to start from t-shirts, then we move to hoodies and marks. So I'm going to select t-shirt here. So with a t-shirt, we usually use the unisex premium t-shirt. This t-shirt alone cost $95 to produce. So remember that Printful will also charge you for shipment. So for about $2, so you add it to your cost. We have a cheaper product here that we can use, but this product doesn't have so much colors. So I'll click on unisex. So you can choose any of them depending on the colors that you want to use. Okay, so now we have to drop our design here and before we drop the design check the link in the description below to take you to my number one selected design and marketing tool i use in my print on demand business so the link below is my affiliate link with place it i've been using place it for a very long time and it's my number one chosen design and marketing tool so you can make free designs from t-shirts to logos videos anything that you want to do any template you want to use there are so many templates in here with over fifty-six thousand templates that you can use for your designs t-shirt mockups and so on the best way to sell your print on demand is to put them on mockups like a role model using your product or putting it on a product which is being used so that people can have a feel of how it is going to be when they are being used so this tool actually comes with monthly subscription so you can select their monthly payment or their yearly payment i use the yearly payment because it saves me 50 percent of the total cost so you can select any of them so you just click on free account and register here and you are good to go so as you can see i have a subscription with place it so every design i do on my print on demand I come here so what i'll do now is i would like us to select the designs because we're going to do t-shirt designs so we come to design to get a design for our t-shirt and marks so in here there are a lot of already made available templates that you can use so for example if you want to use this for your t-shirt you can just click on this so if you can edit this by double clicking and changing it to anything that you want so you can change the text to anything you want you can move it you can also change the font style so you can also change the images in here so i'll click on this you can also remove the background so that we can put it on our product before we save it We'll remove the background or else it will come with the background so what i'll do is after removing the background here what i'll do is i'll click on the download so when you click on the download it will process your design to take some few seconds after your design is processed you can click on click here to download so you click on save okay after you are done you can go to mockups Whenever you're trying to market your print on demand online, the best way to use is to put your designs on mockups. So after your, you design, you can come here and upload your design onto any of the mockups in here. So I'll show you how to do that later. Let's move on and upload our file to Printful. So this is where you drop your image. So you can double click here, click on upload. You locate where your file is so i have some designs i'm going to use so let's double click to upload the design that we we created from place it so this design comes in very high quality from place it so i'll click on choose so you can move the designs wherever you want it to be so you can also put some at the back if you want we have the left sleeve the right sleeve so we are just putting this on the fonts and make sure that you have the print quality is good so as you can see we have 333 the best way is you have to always make sure that your dpi is 300 since we are so you can select the colors that you want to sell i'll add only five colors so these are the colors i have chosen so what you need to do is so i'll click on proceed to mockups 
So these are the mockups that you can select from. So right now I'll leave it to, so I'll leave it to this. So if you want the black to be the main color for the product, you can select if you want it to be white. So I'll select the white to be the main mockup. Then I'll click on proceed to details. Printful automatically generates the details for you. You can rename your product here. So I'll rename your product categories will also be found here. So these categories are from your product categories we have you have in here. So if you go to product categories, you can rename or add some of the product categories. So I'll add max, then click on add new product. So what I'll do is I'll quick edit this to t-shirts, then click on update category. Then I'll change this one to hoodies. Then remove the slab. Then I'll update the category. Then the accessories, I'll make it mask. Then I update the category. Okay, so let's go back and go back and go to proceed to details again. So what I'll do is I'll just select the main for now, then click on proceed to pricing. Then this is where you price your items. So this is the pricing for the items you selected. So if you want to remove this items you if let's say if you don't want the 4xl make sure you deselect it from the first sizes here so you can remove the sizes you can remove it up to only you can change the sizes to the maximum size to any size you want so for now i'll just leave it to 2xl then click on proceed to mockup and make sure that also know that um, print Printful also gives you a warning that they don't have variant for extra small. So I'll remove the extra small generally. I don't want it to be in and set colors. I will remove the colors off so that it doesn't give me problems. Okay, so let's proceed to mockups and proceed again. So you see the product categories has updated. So I remove it from hoodies, then select the right to t-shirts. So proceed, proceed to pricing. So this is the printful price that they are selling to you. So you can change it or you can multiply it by the percentage you want. So if you want it to be, you want to multiply the percentage, you can click on, let's say you can multiply it by 30% and automatically to change it to, it will calculate the price for you. If you want it to be official, you can also make it, you add, you increase it by $30. So actually I use, I usually want to multiply it by percentage. So I'll say 30%. So your profits will be within this. So this is your retail price and this is your profit you're going to get whenever you sell one of these items. So after your retail price, you click on submit to store. So it will automatically be uploaded to your products list in here. So when you go to all products, you should find your products listed in here. So as you can see, it's still uploading. So we wait for it to finish uploading. Okay, so it has successfully synced to your WooCommerce website so whenever we go to product again we should be able to see our product being listed here that's cool right so let's go to our website and visit the website again okay so we don't have any product for now so what i'll do is we're going to edit the page itself later so for us to see the product we can click on view So you have your products listed in here like this, beautiful with your description and everything included. So whenever anybody wants to select, you can change the color, select red, you can change to yellow, then it appears. So I already have my design. So what I'll do is I'm going to add all my 
designs to my my printful stores so that i don't add them one by one for you to see so let's go let me go back and add my designs in here okay guys so i've uploaded five files to my product so these are t-shirts so you can upload the same designs onto hoodies and other things too so for example like i'll go to collections and i click on collections here we have aprons sportswear streetwear and other things so i'm looking for nose mask so i'll go to new product so we have all over print face mask here so i'll click on this so we're going to upload the same designs we put on the t-shirt so i'll just do the same thing like we did i'll click on choose we don't need to do so much work so this is how it's going to look like let's see how it looks on the mock-up view click on mock-up view here so it's processing for us to it's generating the mock-up so this is how it's going to look like if you are okay with it you can choose it if you want to also decrease the size too you can do that then we go and check the mock-up view again okay so i think i'm okay with it so what i'll do is i'll click on and we click on proceed to mock-up then we don't want all this we only want the front so which mock-up do we want to use you can use any of this so i'll just select then click on proceed to details so this is your details generated so let me go and select the nose mask click on proceed to pricing so the price is 14 dollars so we can make it 9 19 dollars or any amount we want so let's say i don't want it to be too much say 18 is okay and submit to store then it will start generating the face marks for us so as you can see we can view it in on our website to see how it looks like so let's go back so i'm going to upload all the designs on the nose masks too so i will skip the that part so that you can do it yourself later okay i've been able to add all this so i added the t-shirts the face mask and the same design on hoodies too so i want to add the last hoodie so when you come here i can set for men's clothing then you set for hoodies so these are unisex hoodies so this one is more cheaper i click on this and i select the design i want to put on so whenever you upload your design printful stores your designs onto their server so you can upload it to any of their products so when you go to product you see the colors you can select the colors the sizes that you want so i'll click on proceed to mockups then i'll select let's go down i think i love this one so i'll click on this there is a front two then i'll deselect this front one and select this one so this is how i want it to be then i'll click on proceed to details then you rename your product you make sure your product is selected to the right category then you click on proceed to pricing so i can increase the product by five so or percentage so i'll increase it by five add by five so we click on submit to store to sync to our website so let's go to wordpress to reload all the products so we are done with the printful product import we have our products available here let's go back to printful and let's go to my printful we need to add payment method so let's click add payment method so that anytime someone buys from your website printful can automatically fulfill your order for you that will be in the settings you can also fulfill your orders manually so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill my billing information
So now your billing method can either be PayPal or credit card. I'll click on credit card, then enter my credit card details here. Okay, so after adding my credit card details, I'll click on add. Our billing method has been added successfully. Let's go back to my print for. So now the only thing we need to do is to order samples of our product. So let's go back to our website. So the next step for us to do is to edit our website. So let's go to the front page of our website. So as you can see, we have this website available here. We don't have our products in here. So what we do is I'll click on edit with Elementor. So we're going to edit the template with Elementor. So Elementor is just a page builder. It's a drag and drop page builder where you can just enter your text. So if you want to change the text in here, new arrivals. So we can delete this column. Then, so as you can see, we have two columns. I will delete this column here, leaving this one column. So I can change the background. You can right click and click on edit or click on these three dots here then to bring you the edit section so this is a section i will edit the section then go to style so in my style i'll choose my image so i'll select my images so i'll click on i'll make sure it is selected then i click on it sets media so this is how it looks i would like to position it to top default okay so this is okay so we change the the attachment to from fix to default then we made it center center okay so that looks perfect now as i want so i'll scroll down i don't need this column here so if i don't need it i can delete it i can also delete this one too okay that's okay for me so what I'll do is on the first column, I'll edit it, then go to style. So I'm going to change the image right here. I'll change the image from this. So I'm going to upload an image. So I'll insert this image here, then make it center center. So, okay, so I can change the text in here. So I'll make this one t-shirt, then edit the text in here so i'll click on the text edit text then go to style so we want to change the font click on typography then change the width to let's say 800 then the font size too can be changed we come to this side the best sellers and change the typography too Go to style, then we change the size to 30. I'll edit this column, then go to advanced. So we can edit the button too. Then, so this will be t-shirt. So what we can do is go to link options, then we go to dynamic tags. So if you want to use the dynamic tags, mainly you have to use the pro. So this one will automatically um let you link some the categories and other things straight from wordpress so i'll copy the link of t-shirts and come and paste the link in here so anybody who clicks on a shop now on the t-shirt will go directly to the t-shirt category i'll go to the next column then make it so i'm going to edit this one to hoodies then change it to new arrivals so what i'll do now is i'll copy the this one then paste the style so when i paste the style it's going to look exactly like this one here so you see how it works okay that looks better so i'll copy this one the style of this t-shirt too then paste the style so that they will have the same size so the next one we're going to do is face mask i'll come here then write something like trending so i'll copy the style to 
and paste the style here. So let's change the second column picture. So I'm going to change the image. Then I'll click on insert. Then I'll come to the face mask. Then click on styles, upload. Then select an image here. Okay, that looks nice. So I'll click on updates. Make sure you always update. If you don't update, anything that you edit here won't show on our front page. So let's go to our front page and see how it shows. Nicely done. So let's move down and I'll click on here. So I'll delete this here. So I'm going to set for WL. That's the whole length. Choose WL Universal Product. So I'll, I can put it here. So as you can see, we have the layout. We can make it tab. We can make it slider. Then change the query. So if it is slider, you it is going to be three. But if you want to make it default, you can also select the column to be four. Go to query settings. Then we make the limit to so we can see we are having eight product here so what i'll do is i'll make it four so i'm going to select the category for t-shirts so we have our four t-shirts here then i'll move the the heading here then we move this one to here we have some settings you can do you can remove the categories from the product you can also change the style the query settings i'll go to content settings so you can change the style to all the styles but i'll select style 4 okay so you can also hide the category by selecting hide category hide you can configure all these settings to meet your standard how you want it to be we go to style so in the style we can either make the columns to be zero or we can change the the columns to 10 pixels on the spaces okay so that i think that looks better now so when it's on mobile what i'll do is we'll go to content and action settings so i'll make it go off so that it looks perfect on here so let's go to the style so under the pattern for the mobile so as you can see if you change it to mobile it's going to we are going to edit only mobile so for the mobile we can make it zero like this that looks perfect but when we come to desktop you will be seeing the 10 so that's how it is you can even make it five so let's move down okay what i'll do is i'll bring some space in here so i'm going to edit this section then edit some the space the pattern here to let's say 40 so we have 40 pixels top in here then we have 100 pixels down okay that looks okay now so we'll click on update so let's move down to this section i would like to extend the this section here but it looks like it's a column in a column so what the best we can do is to move it out of this column bring it down here then we create a row so we're going to create a row for it separately then drag it from that section here so we are dragging it from this section to the next section here so i'm going to select this column this column so i can edit the section here then make it forward so when i make it forward it fits perfectly but there are some spaces in here there are some padding here so what i'll do is the column i'm going to make it no gap so that fits perfectly then we we'll click on update what i'll do is i'm going to change the picture here so i'll change the image to i'll upload my own then insert the media so i'll make it default edit some of the text here or you delete some so this is how it's, I'm going to leave. 
we can edit the text here then we go down and move this section to we're going to create another section then click then make it one column so i'll drag this section from in here to this side okay that looks perfect so it seems this section has a wide pattern from its main column so i'll right click then go to advance so we can see we have a margin of 100 so i'll make it let's say 50 then make the down to let's say 50 okay i think that looks perfect now so what i'll do is we have a wide space in here i'm going to delete this then we also have a white space here i'm going to edit this section go to advance so as you can see we have a very wide section so i'll reduce this to 40. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this section here so i'll duplicate it so we change this featured product to t-shirts then we make this one hoodies so what i'll do is i'll move this whole section down here then edit the product settings so i'll make it go to query settings so what i'll do is i'll remove the t-shirt and make it hoodies so that's the category we want to show so it's going to show only hoodies okay that looks better now then what i'll do is i'll duplicate it again then we make this side face mask so we're going to right click and edit it so we're going to change the query settings to face mask then click on update okay so i think this looks perfect we can preview our website here to see how it looks that's okay so we generated a very beautiful website in here i would like to edit the footer color too i'll go to edit with elementor the page then i'll click on footer so you can see we have footer in here okay so i'm going to right click and edit selection then change the color then make this links i'll edit this one go to style then change the text color to white then edit here go to style go to text and change the text color to white so when we hover we want it to be gray so that looks a little better let's right click on here copy then right click and paste style I'm going to do it for all the headings paste style okay that looks better so i'll leave this section here then go down so what i'll do is i'll copy this section then come to the copyright section then right click and paste out okay so that looks better now so i'll edit this one go to text color then make it white i'll i can delete this from here i don't want it to be here then i can delete the column then make this center so i'll make this its center so this generates our year and our site name for us so what you do is i'll put a full stop then write all right reserved then i'll click on update so let's close it and go back to our home page again then preview the changes so i'm going to close the home page now then let's go down and see how it looks okay that looks better now so i'm going to edit this menu bar here it looks transparent so let's go to customize to edit this this customized section is mainly for for editing some settings in the wordpress header and footer and the theme itself and woocommerce so if you go to global you have a typography so what i'm going to do is we're going to change every font in here the base font to Montserrat. that's my favorite font we go back then change the headings too so i'm going to make them 
on Serat 2. So I'm doing it for all my headings. Okay, so they are being inherited. Okay, that looks perfect. So I'll go back here. Then I'll close, I'll go back again. So you can change the buttons and other things, the typography. I'm going to leave you to do all this yourself. So let's go to header and change the logo. So when I click here, I can either even do it directly here. I'm going to remove different logo transparent. So we are not making it transparent. We click on background. Then we'll change the background to white. Clear this and make it hash FFF. So this is how we want it to be like. Then to the site title, we're going to make it site color, title color. We're going to make it black. You can make it any color you want. The menus to we'll make it black. Then you can make the sub menus to black. Okay. So the hover color, I'm going to make it red. So as you can see, whenever we hover on it, it will show red. Active colors, the length colors will be red. Okay, that looks nice. So let's go back and change the logo. So we'll go to primary header. So you can also change the style of the header. So you can change it like this. I'll change it back, then go back to site identity. So this is where you change your logo. So I'm going to remove all. Then untake this. Then make it select logo. So I'm going to select my logo. I'm going to upload my logo from my folder. Then I'll select. So if you want to design your own logo, I'll put a link in the description below to show you how to design your own logo for free. So you can either use the Placeit tool to design your own logo or you can use Canva to design your logo. So check the link in the description below to find out more. So I'll skip this copying, then I'll publish it. So this is how it looks. My image looks a little smaller. So what I'll do is I'll control the width by making it, let's say 240, 250 is okay for me. Okay, 240. Then we'll click on publish. Our website looks better now. Okay guys, so we are done with the home page. Let's check out the about page and contact us page. So we already have some content in here. I'm not going to go much into it. So you can use your, you can use the Elementor page builder to edit this page too. Then the contact us, you can edit this one too by using the Elementor page builder. So you can make changes to your address. Okay, so you can do all these settings here. You can remove this one, then save it. So this form is a WP form. So let's go back to plugins and check for WP form. So when we scroll to WP forms, let's go to settings. So we want to change so we want to change the form settings here. So whenever someone writes to us, it will go directly into our email. So let's go to all forms. So we have the contact form here. We click on edit. So this form has already been generated for us. So what we need to do is we click on settings in here. Then we go to the notifications here. Then we change the send to email address where the email will go. So I'll click on save settings, then close it. Then we are done with the contact form. So the contact form page is also built. So let's close it. So go into our website again. I want us to remove some of them. So let's go to our menu. So let's go to this section and click on menus. So menus can be found in the dashboard at appearance and the menus. So let's go to main menu here, then select it. So 
we're going to remove so we're going to change this one then we make it let's say all product that is where our shop page will be then we will put this under the all product so we when you shift it right like this it will be a sub menu so i'll click on save menu now so let's go to our website to check how it looks so this is how it looks now so that's okay you can change anything in the menu through here you can change this to my account then move it to the last then refresh it so my account will be shifted from here to this side so let's check how our product page will look like so in here make sure you change the the buttons link to their various categories so this is t-shirts when i click on it it will go to t-shirts category so if you want to find their categories all you need is come here go to all category product then you right click on hoodies you copy the link location then you use the elemental page builder to edit and to paste the link in the buttons okay so let's go to our product page so for example like this one so this is how our product page looks like so before a user can buy we have to make sure we configure our payment settings so how the payment could be done so let's add this and go to cut and try and check out if a user wants to purchase what he has to do is it says that we don't have any available payment method so let's go change our payment method let's go to woocommerce and go to settings so in the settings we go to payments then we go to paypal so we already have paypal here we will enable paypal click on it to edit the settings so you can edit your paypal email address in here directly click on save changes and you go back to payment so we have other payment methods like stripe we are going to add stripe plugin to also configure it onto our payments plan if you are also from africa you can check out flutterwave i'll put the link in the description below to sign up a free flutterwave account like how paypal works so let's go to plugins and add stripe and flutterwave I'll go down here and click on add new then look for stripe i'll install the woocommerce stripe payment gateway this one by web toffee i'll click on install i'm going to search so i'm going to install flutter wave so rave is mainly from africa so if you are from ghana or any country which doesn't accept paypal the best way to use is flutter weave so let's go to our install plugins and activate them so if you are from any other country you can check out your country payment gateway and check it out from the wordpress repository so i'll scroll down and activate these two payment gateways click on activate so let's scroll down and go to settings for stripe under the transaction mode you will make sure you select it you select the live mode i'm actually not having a live mode because i'm not in stripe supported country so i'll use the test mode for you to see so log into your stripe account and go to developers go to api keys so because i am having a test api i'm going to use my api key in here so i'll reveal my test token code so i've copied the secret key put under the secret key here i'll copy the publishable key too then come here and put under publishable key so i'm using the test mode i will enable stripe payments then the title will be credit cards so this is how the button will be i will make it pay now so let's save the changes so we can go to WooCommerce now. 
So we can check out, so we can go to our checkout page and reload to see whether we can find our Stripe payment here. So, so this is exactly what you see. So we enabled PayPal here, then we enabled the Stripe payment here. So Stripe allows you to take payments directly on your website without moving from your website like how PayPal does. So when I select the Stripe, I say pay now. When I select PayPal, we say proceed to PayPal. Okay, that looks better. So for those in Africa, let's go and check Flutter Wave for Africa. So let's go to plugins, Wave here, then I'll go to settings. So click the link in the description below to sign up to your Flutter Wave account. Okay, so I'm going to enable Wave payment. I'll click on enable payment. Then I'll select live mode. So I can rename it to pay with Visa, MasterCard and Momo. You need to copy your Rave Live public key and secret key. So you go to Flutter Wave. I'll put the link in the description below for you to sign up. You go to settings. Then you click on API over here. Click on public key, copy the public key. Then you click on secret key too. You paste your secret key and click on save changes. So let's go to our checkout again reload that looks perfect so now we have three payments we can use so paypal credit card and if you are from africa you can use rave for your payments we are done with payments let's go back to the dashboard so on our website you need to make sure you generate privacy policy in your pages you make sure they read the privacy policy you write your shipping policy return and refund policy so make sure you write them down if you want to write them you make sure you go to pages then you add a new page here wordpress automatically generates privacy policy for you here so you can click on privacy policy so i'll put a link in the description below so that you can generate your privacy policy from a website so let's go generate our privacy policy here so using gem terms privacy policy generator if you want to you want a basic policy you can start with a free policy if you want a starter pack you can click here to see what they are included so this policy includes some cookie policy and other things if you want gdpr ready you can also purchase your privacy policy so it contains privacy policy terms and con conditions and cookie policy so but for the purpose of this tutorial i'll click on select basic enter website so you can put your company name so you fill all this you accept the terms and condition then you click on generate terms so this is going to generate your privacy policy for you you can just select everything here then copy and go to your page we will clean everything here then paste the new one we copied from gm terms okay so click on publish now that looks okay so let's go back to our pages so we've successfully generated our privacy policy let's go back to woocommerce Go to settings our last settings to do in the woocommerce settings you can enable tax in here because printful is already charging us for tax we don't need to enable tax rate again for me i will not include tax rates so if you want to sell to specific countries you can select the countries you want to select default customer location you can leave it to geolocate or shop base address okay that's cool we click on save changes so let's go to shipping we need to go to shipping so we have to add a shipping zone so a shipping zone is a geographic region where your certain set of shipping methods rates apply you can add a free shipping 
then charge your shipping with your product price or you can allow printful shipping to work on your website automatically so for usa i will add a free shipping so i'll come here then click on free shipping so free shipping has been added successfully for us you can also go back so let's make this one so let's make this one us shipping click on save changes so after saving the us shipping i can go to location not covered by your other zones so apart from usa any other country will have a flat rate then we edit the flat rate so let's say it can be five dollars we click on save changes so us shipping will be free shipping then any other country will be five dollar flat rate or else you can go to printful shipping then you enable this shipping method so this shipping method will override the shipping zones that you've stated will automatically calculate the shipping method for us so if you don't want to do shipping zones yourself you can enable this for printful to automatically because whenever someone buys something from your shop printful is going to ship the item to the person wherever he or she is so make sure that it's either you charge the shipping into your products or you allow printful to charge the shipping for you so that is your choice i'll leave this disabled and let my shipping zone work so if you're in usa you'll be getting a free shipping if you're outside usa you will charge five dollar so let's move to woocommerce accounts and privacy if you want a customer to be able to create your account, you have to take allow customers to create account during checkout you can also allow customers to create accounts on my account page click on save changes so let's go to emails so this is the email so this is your email notifications so this is how it's going to show to the user from user from name then from address then you can also change the color of it so let's move to advanced so in advanced we're going to select terms and condition so i'm going to select the privacy as my terms and condition so make sure the cart page is selected cart the checkout page is checkout my account page is also my account then we move down and click on save changes okay so let's go to our website and purchase one of these products so i have one in my cart i'll go to checkout so i'll fill my information so if you want to disable the phone requirements you can go to customize and edit it over there under woocommerce then click on credit cards so i'm going to enter So I'm using this to test to buy our product. So what I'll do is, so as you can see, we have the product price for $24 with the shipping rate to be $5. So if I select United States, you will see it will be a free shipping because I select United States. That's how we made the shipping to be. So I will agree and accept terms and condition here then click on pay now okay so our payment has been successful when we go to our printful so in our printful what we're going to see is when we go to orders we're going to find the orders made from our website this one so we're going to find the order made from benjamin so you click on the other details so you can click on confirm order you can delete order you can change the order so this is the shipping address printful is going to send to so you get your your customer pays 29 dollars printful charges 19.26 then you get a 9.74 profit so that is so simple 
So when we go to our dashboard to, and when we go to WooCommerce, we can find all our orders in WooCommerce. You can click here to see the other details. So the billing and the shipping address. So when a customer pays, you also receive it in your email address. So we had a few other here because of my card. So you can go to Printful here. So if you go to Printful here, all the information, all the others you have here will also be shown here. So that is it. And when we go to our Stripe account, as you can see, we've been able to get a sale. It tells us someone bought something around 2, 4, 2, 4 a.m. here. So you'll be able to monitor your payment. Okay, guys, so you can also copy your link here and go to Facebook and post your your links in here to promote your website. I already have a store here. So when you want to promote your links, you can just come here and promote the links. I usually love to use the mockups instead of the direct images we are getting from our website. So, so the best way I usually love to do is to come to place it and put your designs on a mockup. So when you come to place it under mockups, you select your t-shirts or hoodies or marks or any other thing you want to put your design on. So we will upload the image. So I'll click on this image here. Then I can zoom it and crop it. Okay, I think it's so big. You can edit it and crop it. Okay, so you can put it on your mockups like this. So using the mockups like this really lets people feel the way the design is going to be in in real life. So you can change the colors too here if you want. So it's real time. You then you click on the link. So it after processing, you can download. You click on, you download it, save it. Then what you do is, I'll go to photos, double click. So what I'll do is I'll click on post. Okay, so this looks very beautiful. So you can enter some description in here to show. So anybody who clicks in here will be taken to website for purchase. That looks better now. Okay. So if you want to know how to promote your print on demand website on Facebook, push the subscribe button and click the notification icon to get notified whenever I provide new videos. So if you enjoyed this video, you click the like button because this really helps this video go far and it also helps promote my channel click on the subscribe button if you want to learn more of wordpress and print on demand videos make sure you also click on the notification icon to get notified anytime i produce new videos so i'm glad i was able to show you how to make a print on demand website using wordpress and printful thank you for watching see you in the next video.